Hello everybody, this is Sarah from Sarah's Emporium here to do our weekly reading. Um, we're going to be looking at April 5th to the 11th this week, this time around. And I'm using the Hush Tarot this month by Jeremy Hush. I figured it had a nice whimsical feel for spring. And, um, and that's what we're running into right now. We're going into the spring season and we're going to have a little bit of fun this month with some Garden Dragons, uh, written by Erwin Lynch and artwork by Stanley Morrison. And they are just really adorable little garden dragons, so we'll see what we get in that one as well. Wow, one, two, three, right off the bat. Okay. So let me zoom in just a tad. There we go. Sorry for the wiggle and the sirens. It's been a lot of action ever since we started opening back up again. All right, so we have the Six of Wands, the Ace of Swords, but in reverse, and then we have the Seven of Cups. Okay. Okay, this week is going to be a very interesting week for you, or for us as a collective. I want to remind everybody that these are collective readings. You take what resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? Um, so we're running into, I'll get back to this one here, but I wanted to focus on these two because these two are very prevalent together. Um, the Ace of Swords is possibilities and changes are bound, but when it's in reverse, it means that there's a lot of insecurity with this particular chance for change. And the changes seem to be, looking at this card, there's a lot available. There's a lot of choices in this. You're, you're making it more, it's, um, so many options is so much to do that it's hindering you in making that decision so that it makes you start feeling insecure about where you're going with it and you are having troubles figuring out exactly what you want to do in the end so so you're kind of hitting yourself in a limbo spot you are indecisive you're feeling insecure because you're not sure, you know, which outlet you want to choose, you want to go down, and you're, it's, it's just tying you up. I, I feel like there's a little bit of like a, a halted stop. You know, we have this horse here is being entangled in all kinds of, of things. There's the worker bees in his, in his head area, and then we have the snakes kind of like twirling around and, and getting... Then we have birds and then we have branches. There's a lot going on in this card and it's making you feel uneasy. It's holding you back with all these different things that are going on. And with the card being reversed, she's not going anywhere. She's standing still. She's, you know, that unicorn horn just kind of went nope we're not going anywhere I don't know if you ever you guys know about jousting and where they stick the the uh, joust is it joust or javelin either one of those and then they like jump over the the bar um, so you're basically that horn is getting stuck in the ground and it's halting you from moving forward and with the seven of wands yeah there's a lot of challenge going on so basically this is just all tying it together there's a bit of competition you are standing in your own way and facing the your own opposition 
You are what's holding you back. You have a lot going on. You're feeling that stuckness and you're the only one who needs to go through that. You need to find your, your, you're not insecure. You just need to figure out what exactly you want to do. And it's no wrong way. There's no wrong thing. You can do everything and only one thing. It's not a big deal, but figure out what you want to do. Because you're the only one who's holding yourself in this conflict. Uh, holding yourself back in this conflict. Okay? So you want to figure out what's going on. And to know that you're the only one that you need to face in this. It has nothing to do with anybody else this week. And take that moment. Write down. Do a journal. Write down everything that you do. Everything that you are possible of doing. And find out what resonates with you the most. Absolutely resonates with you. Um, so that's it. Guys, got, got a little bit, got a lot going on in your brains today or this week. And just remember, you're the only one who is holding yourself back on that. And the only conflict that you are having is with yourself and finding your self confidence. And the. <laughs> The dragon for this month or this week is the tea dragon. And the tea dragon says, relax. He's adorable. I love these cards so much. They're just, they're whimsical, you know. They're really fun. All right, so the tea dragon. I got to look in the book. Um, what's your hurry right now? If you're feeling anxious or rushed, it is time to make time for yourself. The tea dragon reminds you that you should relax with a nice cup of lizard's namesake. In preparation, um, preparing the tea, breathe through the time it takes to boil the water. Then perhaps you could sit quietly for the steeping time as you drink in the hot liquid. Remind yourself that it is a gift you give to others when you relax. You can deal with the stressors of the world better by indulging in your very own tea ceremony. So that that actually could tie in pretty well. Like take a moment to breathe for a second and know that you are the only one that can make your own decisions. Okay. So I hope you all have a wonderful week. If you guys want a personal reading, you can reach me at sarahsemporiumunique.com and, and or you can reach me on Instagram. I'm on there as well, Sarah's Emporium Unique. And uh, just hit me up and I'll help you all out, okay? Um, tell me what you think about these readings, these card readings. If you like that, I'm switching it up every month. Um, what do you think about these dragon, this garden dragon deck, huh? really cute um i might do a flip through of them they're just they're adorable anywho i will talk to you all next week all right bye